Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Impressive Energy. I'm ready to jump into a current energy check for you beautiful people. So hi, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate every single one of you. So, current energy as usual guys. So take the time as it resonates. Um, the energy and readings either yours or something connected to. Flip the rolls as you see fit. And don't force the messages to fit if they're not for you. I see um, moving away from... Drama, chaos, conflict, something that's rocker. Um, I, see you, I see you moving away from that. I see you finding peace or needing to. Let's see. Some of you could be going travelling, going on holiday. Oh, wow. Oh, something's going good at home. Jesus. Wow. Listen, if you're in a relationship, it's a very happy one. If you're in a marriage, it's a very happy one. We've got the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the King of Cups and the Lovers. Someone is crazy in love with you. Crazy in love with you. This could be you, but I don't. I feel like this is someone directed at you. Someone is in love with you. You could be married to this person, sharing a home with them. And you could have kids. More than one. This is... That's beautiful energy. Guys... <laughs> In this, if you don't feel like this yet, this is coming, and that's stunning. That's like that's you can't get better as far as a romantic situation is concerned. Even with your energy there with the lovers, you know that's like a beautiful connection. That's gorgeous. It's the happiest of marriages. Do you know what I mean? Yay for you! Tell me about Gemini's energy, please. Sorry if the lights make it difficult to see. Okay, we've got the page of swords. Hmm. Tell me more. Gemini's energy. This could be you. This could be your energy. Star Wars come out then. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Oh, the Three of Swords. Someone's about to find something out. Someone's about to find something out. I feel. Yeah, someone's going to get a message. It's going to bring peace, though. If there's been something that's been a wedge in between something, a relationship, a situationship with anyone, it could be with a child, uh, with a page of swords here, that can represent a younger energy or a, ch a child for some. Someone's going to be bringing in a message which is going to bring peace, calmness. Tell me more. Okay. Wow. Right, okay. Some of you could be dealing with the Taurus, but whatever imbalance has been going on here with the Six of Pentacles, um, underneath the Three of Swords, some, you know, there's been a problem. There's been a problem within a, within um, a relationship with someone here. It's about to be, it's about to get completely resolved. You know, we're going into the Ten of Pentacles here and the Hierophant. So this could be a high level of commitment for some of you. This, you know, if not, it's a family. You know, the Ten of Pentacles, this is a family environment. This is complete abundance. This is what everyone wants. I feel like you could be... There's definitely an age difference involved here, and I feel like you're the mature or older one. If it's not physical, it's mental. Um, let's clarify. So, for some of you, this is someone... I don't feel like it's in a romantic way, though, because I feel like we've just literally been told that um, at the bottom of the deck then, so you don't get confused, because I don't feel like this is a romantic situation. It could be, um, but someone that's told some lies, kept some secrets intentionally. Um, this is someone that you've blocked, you've not spoken to maybe for a while, for a minute. You know, you've chose to not deal with that person. This is who that is. I'm getting family member, but child more, more to the party, but it doesn't have to be. It'll be different for everyone. Let's clarify. Oh, you're showing up all the time in your own energy, Gemini. I love that. If you can see that. <laughs> it's a beautiful card as well. Yeah, there you go. Love us. That's you. Let's clarify. 
sorry. If this is making sense, please do let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, comment. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. I love to read the comments. Hmm. Someone's a bit toxic. Yeah, with a seven of swords underneath the devil then. Someone is... You know when you let, get them people that can't help but lie? I feel like that's who you possibly have been dealing with within a situation. This could be something to do with work or anything. Um, but it's like I feel like you've been dealing with a compulsive liar or something. But there's something that you've been wishing for though, Gemini, which is absolutely coming right in. It could be communication for some of y'all. Some of you want clarity, maybe. Some of you want to know the truth within a situation. If so, that's coming. Let's clarify. You're building on your stability, on your home. Some of you could be saving money. Some of you could be trying to have children as well. Um, I do see fertility around you, or it could be around someone that you're dealing with. If not, it's, you know, a strong Taurus energy. But let's see. Tell me about this page of swords. This is either a spy or a student, and I feel like you're going to find something out. Yeah, it's something to do with the family, ten of cups. The ten of cups and the two of pentacles. So I feel like you may already know this, but you don't. You know, like factually know. I feel like you're gonna factually know soon. But there's something that you already know. This is something, listen, I feel like there's such a strong like parent child or sibling or you know, because this the six of cups here, and this is like nostalgic past memories, uh memories of the past. So this is like needing to look back into the past. You're gonna find out something from the past which you may have already knew about, something to do with the family, or something that you care about a lot. Could be dealing with the Capricorn, the devil keeps showing up. Someone's... Someone could have addictions or, you know, tell me about this three of swords, please. Oh my God, is someone becoming single? Have you told someone to become single? Have you advised? So, have you given someone advice recently? If you have, I feel like they're gonna take it. You could have done this a while ago. The King of Wands. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Something's happening quite soon. Quite soon. There's a message coming in. I feel like there's more than one person in this situation, though. I feel like there's a few people involved. Um, I feel like you could have said something to somebody. Could be advice, doesn't have to be, but it's something about choosing the self or putting the self first in some way. Um, you've said that to someone, and I feel like that could have possibly got back to someone else, and now someone else is coming to tell you something. I hope that makes sense. Keep seeing the Empress. So this, you know, this is a mother figure or parental figure. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Thank you. Right, okay, so the wheel. So something's coming in at the right time. This message that you're going to be receiving. Knights are messengers. Do you know what I mean? They bring things in. And this is bringing a message of, it's coming in quite passionately. It's fire. It could be a little bit heated. But this is coming in because it's meant to and it's going to come in at the right time. With the wheel, this is, you know, the wheel. The wheel's turning in your favour here. There's something karmically going on. The Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about someone, someone's reflecting, someone's realising something, and it's about something that they have to start again with. Someone wants to start a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. Someone's realising something. You're about to get told this. Could, could be a new job. It could be someone realising that they need to go and get a new job. Um, Whatever that could be. You're about to get your wish come true, though. You're very spiritually protected, Gemini, is what I'm feeling. Um, very much so. I feel like you're outside of this situation, but you're, you're, you're in it. Do you know what I mean, if that makes sense? Maybe keeping out of it with the Six of Swords here. 
trying to anyway. I feel like you've said your piece, you've given your advice, and you've kind of like took a step back. Tell me about the Six of Swords, please, for Gemini. Yeah, what the fool could be dealing with an Aries, the King of Swords. This could be your energy. Give me one more. I feel like someone's about to take a risk and they're coming to tell you. They feel they need to come and tell you about it. But they're being logical. Someone's being very logical with the decision, with the move that they're making. Yeah, you want this. Whoever this person is here that you're connected to and whatever it's about, you want this for this person. Someone, I feel like you want someone to be on their own. I feel like you want to. You want someone to leave a situation. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Someone's being taken advantage of, is what I want to say. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, please. Maybe for finances, um, money reasons. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Okay. So someone's ready to turn their back to something, look towards the future. Someone knows something now. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of weighing something up. Justice. Could be a legal situation. Um, if not, it's karmic. There's something that, you know, justice is being served here. Someone, someone's about to go through some karma or someone's already reflecting, like I've already said. Someone's someone's taking the blindfold off. They've done a lot, a lot, a lot of thinking about this situation. I feel like this could have stressed you out a hell of a lot as well. Um, but I feel like it's getting to the point now where it's conclusion time, solution time is here and it's going to go well for you. Yeah, whatever, this isn't your, I don't feel like for a lot of y'all this is your romantic partner. Um, but it could be. And I hope you know the situation surrounding it and I hope it makes sense. But for a lot of you it's not. Um, you and your partner are having a hell of a lot of patience within this situation. I feel like you've had to take yourself out of it. You've had to keep your mouth shut and so has so is your, your significant other, do you know what I mean? So I don't feel like it's, it's just going on around you. Um... Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant, please, for Gemini. The Chariot. Right, okay. The Chariot, the Five of Cups, the Magician. Let me get one more. That's your energy. Someone misses you. I feel like... I don't want to say there's been a fallout, but there could have been. Um, but I feel like it's more just so a step back, you know, taking a step back from a situation that someone's in. You've come out of it. Someone now misses you. Someone misses you. Um, you know, there could be distance involved. Someone could be travelling towards you, but it is because they miss you. This could definitely be something within a family. You know, someone needs your advice. Someone does need your advice. The King of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Someone, you know, this is someone that you care about a hell of a lot. This could be a potential partner. Do you know what I mean? Please do take it as it resonates. But it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But someone wants to work. Someone wants your advice. Someone needs your advice. Someone wants to work with you on something. And it's on how they become victorious. It's on how they win within a situation. But I feel like you know if that can get some light on it. <laughs> um, but I feel like you, you've not... I feel like you've been... You know, you've held back a lot that you want to say. Now you're going to have your time because this person needs you. However, that could resonate. But well, that's what I've got, Gemini. I hope that's made sense. I hope you found guidance within their messages. Please do let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I shall see you all in the next one.